to Shaping Memories and welcome to the Daily Chronicle. So today is August 12th and today is Middle Child Day. So, forgotten, ignored, excluded, rebellious, peacemaking, people pleasing. Much has been said about the plight of the middle child. But does birth order really matter? Research suggests Yes, it does. So, I don't know if you're a firstborn, middle child, third child. I have an aunt who had 10 children, so I'm not really sure where you'd fall in as a middle child there, but wherever you fall in, you're important. And But today, we're celebrating the middle child. I myself am a middle child, so. And listening to that list, there's some of those that apply to me. All right, let's get into our first article. Our first article is called Mad Science. The field of venomomics, venomomics, or the study of venom as a source of medicine is rapidly expanding. Venom from snakes, scorpions, spiders, bees, snails, and jellyfish contains thousands of valuable proteins. New technologies allow scientists to extract powerful molecules from even the smallest amount of venom. Once molecules are identified, they can be synthesized in a laboratory. Venom from a Gila monster has produced a medicine to treat type 2 diabetes. Venom from an Australian funnel web spider is being used to make a drug to prevent damage to the heart during a heart attack. So venom, even though it's poisonous and kill, kill you, I guess in some of these um, animals, the venom, in, venom is actually going to help. All right, I have a trivia for you. What's in a name? So this Grammy award-winning musician was born Peter Jean Hernandez. Peter Jean Jean Hernandez. Who do you think that is? I'll give you the answer in a little bit. All right, let's go on to fashions of yesteryear. Okay, in 1998, 1998, it's not that long ago, but in 1998, the retailer Lulu Lemon, Lulu Lemon, created the first pair of yoga pants out of nylon and lacquer. They were a high-end alternative to cotton leggings, soft stretchy and moisture wicking and they retained their form after an hour on the yoga mat. After 2010, women began to wear yoga pants outside the yoga studio as a casual replacement for jeans. Today, women can be seen wearing yoga pants almost everywhere but a yoga studio. <laughs> so, that's where the yoga pants came from. All right, so which musician, Grammy award-winning musician, was born Peter Jean Hernandez? Did you guess Bruno Mars? Because that is the answer. That is correct. Bruno Mars was born Peter Jean Hernandez. All right, I have a word wipe. I love this. This is where we have four words, and you're going to guess which one is not like the other? Which one doesn't fit in the group? And why? Why doesn't it fit? All right, here's the four words I have for you. Aluminum, manganese, amethyst, tin. Which one of those four does not belong in that group? I'll give you that answer in a minute. Think about it. All right, on this date, August 12th, in 1865, Dr. Joseph Lister performed the first antiseptic operation using carbolic acid as a disinfectant. Yeah. Also on this, on this date in 1930, Clarence Birdseye is granted a patent for his refrigeration apparatus. Oh, his machine could freeze food very quickly. This method preserved the quality of the food and would revolutionize the food, frozen food industry. Hmm. Apparently that's where we get bird's eye foods. 
All right, and in 1990, Sioux, the world's largest, most complete, and best preserved Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton was discovered in South Dakota by paleontologist Sue Hendrickson. It is now a star attraction at the Peel Museum of Natural History in Chicago. So all those things happened on this date many years back. All right, which one of those words I gave you, aluminum, tin, manganese, or amethyst, does not fit in that group? If you had guessed amethyst, you would be correct. Because amethyst is a mineral, while all the other three are metal. So, hopefully you got your brain thinking on that one. All right, here at Chippy Memories, we always have a birthday. So, it's somebody famous, singer, writer, somebody, a scientist, somebody famous. So today, happy birthday, Catherine Lee Bates. She lived from 1859 to 1929. Do you know who she is? Well, she was a prolific writer, social activist, and Wesley College professor who mentored poet Robert Frost. She wrote poetry, travel books, and children and young adult literature. However, she is best known and remembered of the songwriter of the patriotic anthem, America the Beautiful. The song was originally written as a poem published on July 4th, 1895, under the title Pike's Peak. Fifteen years later, the words were set to music by Samuel A. Ward as the song we know today. And she does have the quote of the day, and the quote is from the song. It is, O oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of gray, for purple mountains' majesty above the fruited plain. Those are from her lyrics, America the Beauty. All right, I have one more. It's just a did you know. It's a fun little fact for you to know. Did you know that the 52 cards in a deck of cards, the 52 cards represent the 52 weeks in a year. And the different suits represent the different seasons. I never knew that. It's like one of those fun little trivia facts you can put in the back of your head and then just take it out there in a the party and go, you know, the 52 cards in the deck represent the weeks in the calendar year, and the suits represent the seasons. And then they'd be like, oh my God, I never knew that. Maybe you knew it, maybe you didn't. Now you know. All right, what else do we celebrate on August 12th? Let's see. Today is Celebrate Puerto Rico Day. Uh, on this day in 1508, Ponce de Leon arrived in Puerto Rico. He had been sent by the Spanish to colonize the island. On this date, we also have International Youth Day. So the United Nations uh, defines youth as those ages 15 to 24. This group makes up one-sixth of the world's population and is known as Gen Z. Hmm. Also today, we have World Elephant Day. It is a day to acknowledge, celebrate, uh, the special day of the world gentle giant. And last but not least, we have so what? So, S-E-W, what day? On this date in 1851, Isaac M. Singer of New York City was granted a patent for the first sewing machine with a rocking treadle. So, thank you for joining me for our daily chronicle. Thank you for tuning in to Shaping Memories. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you stay happy, healthy, and above all, I hope you stay safe. Take care.